uh, can I get everyone to gather up here? <laughs> okay, well, welcome to the Museum of Natural History, and congratulations on being part of your high school's Science Scholars Program. Very cool. <laughs> I wish I had something like that uh, back when I was in high school, um, but for me, my interest in science just made me the president of the Lonely Hearts Club. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I don't know if you noticed as we came up the stairs just now, but we actually traveled back in time, uh, 100 million years or so, to the late Cretaceous. So as we uh, explore our surroundings here, we're going to see some of the usual suspects, Triceratops, yawn, Ankylosaurus, snooze, and of course, Tyrannosaurus rex, or as I like to call him, Tyrannoborus. Next. <laughs> from these dinosaurs, but come on, they all pale in comparison next to the big guy hanging out in the hall behind me. Uh, see if you can squint and see him. He's only 122 feet long. So currently, we're referring to this gentleman as the Titanosaur, uh, but that's only because we don't have an official scientific name for him yet. So uh, in the meantime, I've just been calling him Robbie <laughs> Anderson Schieffer. <laughs> yeah, so he was part of a branch of sauropods that, yes, why do I call him that? <laughs> Good question. I think it's because he reminds me of a guy I knew in high school, actually. Um, Robbie Anderson Cheever. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he was a transfer student senior year and, um, you know, similar to this Robbie, when he came in, everyone was kind of like, whoa, who's this? You know, uh, he's really tall, and, and he looks like a movie star, and, <laughs> but he's, he's good at chemistry, and he does theater? What? <laughs> um, I, I didn't even know those things could go together. So, in both cases, you know, it was a discovery that forced us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the world, and, and by extension, about ourselves. Now, this Robbie um, was an herbivore, which means he ate what? Plants. Plants, yes, yes. And we know this because we actually found fossilized plant material inside his stomach. So while all the tyrannosaurs were off uh, killing everything and beating everybody up, Robbie's just over here munching on some leaves and ferns. Uh, uh, because he didn't need to join that group. Because, you know, and that's, that was really cool because he definitely could. He definitely could. Um, he, I mean, come on, he would have been like their leader. But uh, he didn't care. And that's probably the most attractive thing about him. Now, I know what you're thinking. He's 122 feet long. He's probably some big lumbering brute that can barely move. But in fact, <laughs> flexible bicon biconvex vertebrae and porous bone structure, uh, Robbie was surprisingly light on his feet. He was in our school's production of Guys and Dolls, and <laughs> he could dance. I saw, it, I saw it all three nights, and when I saw it, I I know we did. Who am I talking about? Robbie, the, the, the dinosaur. Um, well, as far as mating, uh, <laughs> lots of girlfriends, but you know, it never really seemed that serious, and that made me wonder, maybe his sexuality was a little more fluid than has been previously known, uh, which is entirely possible and is probably a lot more prevalent than you may think. Uh, when I went to the dinosaur's house to ask him, his mom answered the door and said it's a little late for friends, so um, the bottom line is there's still a lot we don't know. But, that doesn't stop us from using our imagination. <laughs> You'd like to follow me downstairs? Uh, we will check out the Gobi Desert, or as I like to call it, the Gobi My Dad. 